When you first launch the application, you'll see the default main menu screen for the latest release firmware build. You can scroll up and down the list, or since the list is in alphabetical order, you can jump directly to a letter by selecting it from the index on the right-hand side. You can also search for a setting or submenu using part of the setting name or a keyword that may be associated with a particular setting. Settings can also be sorted by tapping the sort button in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. All settings by menu will display all the settings grouped by three main menus, sensor, video, and system. And top level settings only will display only the first group of settings available in each of the three main menus. Below each setting is a brief lineage of the submenus that lead to the setting. Video menu, video tone tells me that the toe X setting is in the tone submenu, which is in the video submenu, which is part of the video main menu. You can dive deeper into any submenu or setting by tapping on it. A plain arrow indicates a submenu, while a white arrow inside a blue circle indicates the settings detail. Inside a submenu, you will find a list of available settings. Notice the white boxes below the settings lineage. Each box represents a sibling setting in the submenu. A box with a black outline indicates the settings position in the submenu, while a solid white box indicates the default setting upon entering the submenu. The setting detail screen provides a wealth of information about individual settings. Type indicates the way a setting is manipulated. Checkboxes are toggled by pushing the joystick on the back of the camera. Checkboxes with ranges are toggled by both pushing the joystick and rotating it. Ranges are changed by rotating the joystick, and selections are made by pushing the joystick. Default indicates the default option for the setting. Options contain one or more available options for a particular setting. Explanation displays a brief overview of a setting's functionality. The user manual page indicates the corresponding page in the official user manual. The menu path shows a list similar to the settings lineage, starting from the main menu and listing each one of the submenus. The assist menu is inside the meters submenu, which is inside the viewfinder submenu, which is inside the video main menu. You could even jump to a submenu by tapping on it. Email will bring up the standard email screen with a preformed email containing all of the settings details. Both settings and submenus can be bookmarked for future reference. By tapping on the bookmark icon in the upper right hand corner, the current item will be added to your bookmarks. You could view your bookmarks by tapping on the bookmarks tab at the bottom of the screen. You can navigate through your bookmarks just as you would in the menu area. Bookmarks could even be rearranged to help you find the most frequently used settings more easily. You can remove a bookmark from the list by either swiping the row and tapping delete, or tapping the delete icon on the left hand side of each row. Visa V also comes with a space time calculator. You can start with the number of hours and minutes to convert to gigabytes, or you can start with the size of the storage media to calculate the amount of time. At the bottom, you can select the resolution and aspect ratio, the base frame rate, and the quality. Several charts are included in the Visa V application. False color displays color-coded stripes where each color represents an exposure value relative to the camera's current view. Color to IRE displays a table of color codes and their respective IRE values for various views. Focus chart displays a zoomable Siemens chart that can be used along with edge highlight to assist focus. As firmware updates are released, this application can be updated via the iTunes App Store. You can toggle the current firmware by visiting the Preferences area and selecting the desired firmware version from the list. For more information, you can read the help document that's included with the application, or you can check out red.veryniceindustries.com.